So this is the eighth year that Tybros is doing our Next Now art show. It's really to highlight young creative talent in our community. Specifically tonight, we're going to actually uh, highlight local designers and their actual um, uh, design showcase. And so we're really excited to have this um, level of talent and to be able to highlight this in our community. My name is Raul Flores. My name is Kenya Carter. I'm Eric Zachariah. My name is Emmanuel Durant. Um, my name is Kateri Burris. Uh, my name is Hattie Eubanks. Um, traditionally, we've worked on, focused on galleries, but this year we're actually looking at designers and trying to highlight that Tulsa does have a robust fashion community. And so we're really excited that Typos can be a part of this discussion. And we're very thankful for our sponsors with Saks, Bruce G. Weber, and the Mayo Hotel. Um, I put together a lot of this stuff um, with feathers. Um, that's one of my favorite things to work with. I like feathers. Um, the blue dress with the red feathers and the peacock dress. And um, also my premier design was um, a white dress with rhinestones on it and it had leaf, orange leaves on it and um, it was supposed to reflect um, the change of weather or the change of season which is autumn and so we, it had like um, a burnt orange color and so those are my pieces. So my artist inspiration is Kevin Chumley. He's a local photographer and a lot of his work is in um, Art Deco so a lot of my inspiration was based off of that with the lines and kind of just basing it off of the lines in the Art Deco. Um, I'm kind of inspired by like equestrian uh, and also like um, prom line collections. Um, also a lot of um, like older inspiration, like 50s and 60s kind of inspiration. So that's kind of what I go off of. Um, well, we were supposed to be inspired by an artist's work, whether it's um, jewelry or painting. I was inspired by my friend's painting, so it's based around her painting of a woman in water. So um, I did a lot of like blacks and like um, ocean colors and like different layers and textures that look like um, like that that could be the ocean. Okay, tonight we're gonna see different um, shorts, different rompers, dresses, jackets. I I did a lot of layers for this collection. Um, just to give it more of an elevated feel. And um, I didn't have that many looks, so I wanted to create more stuff for the collection. Um, what I hope to achieve tonight is just more exposure and um, things to put in my portfolio for um, any future endeavors I may have. Um, and yeah, just mostly that. Tonight, um, you can expect to see a, a nice, flowy arrangement of dresses that make women feel feminine and soft and pretty and a little sexy. So that's what you can look forward to tonight. The artist, um, there's a lady, um, her last name is Golightly, uh, Brooke Golightly, and she is actually a photographer who, um, her pieces are featured over at um, the Arts and Humanities Council. So I saw a photograph that she did of a woman who um, it showed her reaching to the heavens and she had this flowy skirt on and I, it just made me feel uh, light and pretty. So I designed the line uh, after that piece. For this collection, we were told to choose an artist here locally in Tulsa. I chose the watercolor artist Alex Walter and he had a lot of pastels and colors that bled into other colors. So I wanted to play with that. And I also, something that always comes up with several designers is always uh, to stay away from the avant-garde because that doesn't sell. But at the same time, I love the avant-garde. So I wanted to play with mashing the, you know, easy to wear kind of clothing with that more high-end fashion. And that's what I did with my collection this, this season. Um, I just want to show everyone my collection and hopefully someone is inspired enough by it so they can create something or want to buy it. Uh, some of the designs that you will see in my collection today, um, I have a coat, which I'm very proud of. I have several dresses 
and just a lot of pieces that can mix together different separates, things like that. One of the great things about um, Oklahoma and about Tulsa specifically is that Tulsa is really the arts capital of Oklahoma. And so when we look at Oklahoma, when we look at young creative talent, we can't, we can't dismiss young creative talent from what we are wanting to retain and attract in our region. And so to highlight our rich culture here in the state of Oklahoma, and specifically in Tulsa, is a, is a great opportunity for us to do so. And so we, we think it's just as important as a business incubator or entrepreneurship or even diversity. The arts are a pillar of our community and we need to make sure that we embrace and highlight the young creative talent that we have. My name is Eric Zachariah and I just won the next Slash Now fashion show. My stuff's going to be at Saks Fifth Avenue for a week. I'm so excited. Starting November 6th. I, I can't believe it. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's very surreal. I've been working like non-stop for the past couple weeks. Um, barely sleeping. So I'm just like soaking it all in right now. But I'm super excited to have my stuff at Saks for a week. 